Okay, so I'm going to show you all some record cleaning using this uh, squeaky clean vinyl that I picked up a couple years ago. But before we get started, I'm going to show you the cleaning solution that I use. And uh, we, what I typically do, I use these ketchup and mustard bottles. And I mark the bottles with the line right here for isopropyl alcohol. I fill it to there first with the alcohol. Uh, this is already made solution, so I'm not going to fill it up for you. But then after I wait till the bottle's empty, I fill this up. Then I fill it up with alcohol. The alcohol that I use is 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then when uh, I'm, I put it up to this line, then I fill it the rest of the way with distilled water. Pick that up anywhere cheap. Got it at Walmart. Um, and then I add three drops of uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then I have a separate bottle that's just distilled water. I use that for the rinse. That's for the clean and scrub, and that's for the rinse. And uh, before we get started, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's go over here. This is the squeaky clean, and what it is, I'm just going to show you the parts. Take it all apart right here. Comes with this pad that you place the, oops, it's the pad that you place the um, the actual album on. But the person that developed this just used old throwaway records, and he mounts those to a uh, platter that has bearings on it that spins. And then you put this on here. If you're doing a 45, you would use the adapter. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to be using a 45, but if you were, uh, you would put that on. Um, and then this right here is the actual suction tube. Um, these come off. Both of these come off. Now, if you were doing a 45, you would leave this on with the, with the adapter. And then... It would, it, whoops, I don't know why that just came off. Anyways, you would leave that on, and then that's how you would clean your 45. But I take these off, I put everything here. This is actually connected. The way I have it set up, I have everything set up over here. For all my setup, I have some mic microfiber cloths, and, uh, um, these are covers over here and then over here. These are actually, I will put the album in one of these uh, zero static sleeves and when, I'm, when I'm through. Anyways, this, uh, this is a vacuum right down here. It's just a little teeny shop vac that I connect to it. And uh, I'll get right back with you to show you the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this... Uh, old Malmsteen album that I've had forever. It's an original copy and I have not heard this album in probably 18 years. It's probably just been sitting in a box somewhere. Here's the sleeve that it's in and uh, let me remove it from the sleeve real quick. Okay, so there it is. It's, I mean, it's not trashed or any by any means, um, but uh, it's hard to see because of the angle of the light. But it's not trashed by any means. But it definitely, because of the you know wear and tear of using it in my youth, um, probably uh, is going to have a whole lot of static and uh, has dust and things like that in it. So usually, what I do is I put the album on the platter. And then this puck goes over top in order to cover up the label. It's a little off-centered, the label, but that's okay. And then what I do is I take the mixture with the isopropyl alcohol, and I just put that on, just that much. And then I use, uh, there's a lot of different brushes you could use, but this actually, this right here is a paint edging brush. And it's actually really, the, 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 the brushes are really sensitive. It actually fits. 
right onto the platter good and it when you move it it goes right around the way it's supposed to now um, normally when you do a scrub um, you spin this at the same time you're holding the brush and then uh, and then you know I usually go go around it a couple times uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I can't do it um, holding the uh, camera at the same time so I'll come right back okay so you I just finished scrubbing it I'm out of focus there I am and uh, yeah I'm just allow I allow that uh, the solution to sit on it just for uh, you know just for like 10 seconds something like that and then what I do is I take the arm and I place it on and then I turn the shot back on I'll give it a spin in one direction all the way around once spin it the other way once and spin it again the other way once um, to suck up all the uh, solution <laughs> Now that that's done, then I go ahead and I just take the distilled water, I put this on, sprinkle it around, then I use this brush, which is a totally different brush. This actually came with uh, with the squeaky clean. Now I use a different brush, and I've only ever used this with distilled water, so there's no cross contamination. And I just spread this around by myself. I don't use the rotator for it. I just spin it around on my own get it in there pretty good get off any excess and then I do the same thing I turn it on see my label got a little bit wet I usually just hit that with one of these cloths and microfiber I let it sit on the platter for a while to air dry and then when it's done air drying I'll go ahead and flip it over and I'll repeat the same steps and then when that's done um, when that steps done I'll use I'll use this this multi zero stat gun you basically, um, I, I usually will hold the album, but in this case, you just press it down. You, you know, you doesn't make any noise. It will if you're if you do it too fast. It'll it it won't work. So basically, I just go around the album with that, and that takes static out if there's anything that's still left on the the album i'll usually after i hit it with the zero stat i'll blow it off and then i take it and like i said i put it into a uh, anti-static sleeve and then i place it um I'll, I'll show you a different malmsteen album this one is complete i've put it inside this plastic sleeve a very high-end plastic sleeve but now the album is placed in here. I don't put it back inside the actual album itself um, anymore. Back when I was, this is uh, marching out, but back when I was younger, I did. And what would happen, um, albums on the album cover itself, it would actually get ring wear from being inside the actual cardboard sleeve for too long. Anyways, that's it. Uh, that's how I do it. Uh, oh, and by the way, these I'm doing all my old records plus any new ones that I've purchased within the last two years. And I only have... I only have a stack of... I only have like six left to go. I'm up to the Ys. <laughs> I don't have any uh, in Z, any heavy metal in Z. Uh, but uh, over here... 
Uh, this is just like a rock, you know, rock and other collection. I did have some Z's here. I had a ZZ Top album. Um, this is all just regular rock and other stuff. And then uh, all these other albums, you know, these are all... These are all albums that I've cleaned since I've had this squeaky clean in the last uh, couple years. Um, so I'm happy to be down to the very end and, uh, you know, a couple other albums down there and one right there, uh, but I'm happy to be down to the very end. All right. And, uh, hopefully you got something out of this that actually works pretty good in the future though. I do plan on buying an all in one so I don't have to constantly pull, uh, you know, certain things out but that'll be a lot easier for me it, yeah some people might say why didn't you just buy the all-in-one at the beginning well you know this i had to do some heavy duty scrubbing on these albums i'm hoping on anything in the future it won't be heavy duty scrubbing and if i just want to drop one on real quick for a quick clean before i play it even though it's already been cleaned before but if i play it and then i want to replay it another day i don't want to have to if i want to clean it i don't want to have to pull all this stuff out but this thing has been great, uh, and it was uh, pretty cost-effective compared to the all-in-ones.